Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited, I just picked up a new Garmin fish finder. And I had another brand of fish finder that I was using. It was a, a little bit smaller than this unit and it didn't quite have all the features that comes on this new Garmin. And uh, a few of the things that I liked about it, I noticed that it has a, has a nine inch screen and it seems like it has pretty good uh, touch features where the touch screen makes it pretty easy to use. It also comes with uh, ultra side scan and high definition down scan and the traditional sonar. So I'm excited to get it on the boat and try it out. And another thing that I liked is that it also is available to upgrade to the uh, uh, Pantronics, it's basically the live scope. So if I wanna do that down the road, this unit has the ability to be upgraded to that. So I'm gonna take a look to see what all it comes with. And I can see right away, I, I like this, it comes with a cover. The other uh, unit that I was using, you had to purchase a cover separately. Let's see, we got my, the uh, nine inch, nine inch touch screen. So, that a little sticker you can put on your back window if you like okay, so here's also some sort of a, a cutout in case you want to cut and mount it in one of those flush mount dashes Let's see what else. it's actually uh, it's got a, a mount and this is how I'm going to mount it on my boat. It looks like it's got some holes for some screws. And then the screen looks like it just is going to snap. So that's what we're going to do to mount it up. This also has a uh, the transducer that it comes with. And let's see, it was the... Uh, It has the side scan and the traditional uh, HD version in there. We've got some different mounting hardware for the transducer to mount it on the transom. And this is nice that it also comes with a trolling motor mount in case you want to put the transducer on your trolling motor. install hardware not another the transom mount plate and then let's take a look at the, the transducer all right and this is of course it's one of the uh the long ones there so it's going to have that that side scan down scan and the traditional all built into one unit and comes with some mounting instructions, like also a little little template. It's also uh, always nice to only screw the necessary holes. So those templates are handy. All right, looks like we've also got a, a power cord with an inline fuse holder. So that's nice. There's different electronic items that I've purchased where you have to get your own inline fuse holder. So that's that's nice. I'm glad that it comes with that. Not sure what those are. We'll have to figure that out later. All right, it looks like some cord stops and some instructions. Now I've got the parts laid out here for the install of my Garmin 93 SV and uh, we've got the power cable, transducer, mount, and the screen. And so of course this needs to be mounted on the back of the transom and we need to run the wires through the boat up to the, uh, the unit. And then I also have the power wires, which have a red that needs to go to our positive battery and uh, black that of course needs to go to negative. And these two other wires, the brown and the blue are can wires so if this is going to be linked to another device to communicate with that 
We're not going to use that, so we're going to tape those up out of the way, and we're just going to connect the uh, positive and negative to the battery. But uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is get this mount situated that our screen goes in. And of course, this will just slide in and snap into position. And then on this boat, I'm wanting to mount it right here on the console. And uh, on this Ranger, it's got some aftermarket windshields that uh, are a little more at a slant and have a little less space. I'm gonna mount this to the console with a couple of screws, but first I'm gonna get the windshield pulled out of the way so I've got some room to work. Now this is held in with a couple of uh, fasteners and I've already loosened the nuts on the back so I can just pull the windshield out of the way. Get it set off to the side. And for clearance of the windshield, I realize I'm going to need to have this set up right at the front here to clear my windshield. And um, I don't really want to change the windshield. Now, if you just have the standard windshield on these Rangers, there'd be plenty of room just to mount it flat surface right there. But I'm going to go ahead and start working to get this installed. Now there's slots in this mount, slotted holes, so I'm gonna just kind of try to screw in the center of the slot so that way we can do some minor adjustments if needed. down. Now I get the screen put in there and check the fit. Do have a little bit of clearance here we've got some room to get back here and hit the release to get the screen out of the way so that looks good now we'll continue with the rest of the procedure
So now we can install the power wires and we can get these other wires moved out of here.